go to the sales module and create sales order. Select a customer and items from the list. Adjust quantity. Save it. You will get a tag as a notification that you don't have quantity in your stock to fulfill this order. Go to Purchasing Module and open Fulfillment. In this list you will see all the items you need to order. Along with the expected date. If the supplier is highlighted, that means that you have multiple suppliers for this item, and that you can choose from which one you will order it. If you go to the product list, you will see that the awaiting quantity is still a zero. Select the items you want to order. Click on the bulk action and purchase orders. If you don't have defined supplier or purchase price for the item, the system will warn you. Click on the setup, and fill in the missing information. Now, when you have all the needed information, you can generate purchase orders. Go to the Purchasing, Purchase Orders, in order to see created orders. By going to the Inventory, Product List, you will see that now we have a waiting quantity. The same information will appear in the sales order as well. If you click on the info button, you will see which purchase order is linked to this sales order, along with the expected date. Go to the purchase orders and start receiving your items. The system will automatically generate you a goods received note. You can receive whole quantity that's in a purchase order, or a partial quantity. In the product list, you will see that our waiting quantity changed. and that our sales orders has reserved quantity. And we have our waiting quantity. We will go back and receive all items. Once we have available quantity, we can pack our sales order. The system will generate you the packing list automatically.